morning. I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. It's Wednesday, September 27, 2006, and here is today's top story. Huge changes at King World, CBS Corporation, and Paramount, both from a structural POV as well as an executive POV. The CBS Corporation has restructured its divisions and has formed the CBS Television Distribution Group, known as CTDG, rolling into one, the combined syndication efforts of CBS Paramount Domestic Television, King World, and CBS Paramount International Television. Collectively, this group will distribute eight of the highest rated ten syndicated series available and will end up being the single largest distributor in the business. Heading up the new entity as CEO is Roger King, former CEO of King World. Robert Madden and John Nagowski have been named presidents and COOs, and leaving the company as a result of the restructuring is Joel Berman, president of CBS Paramount Worldwide Television. The future of Greg Meidel with the, no, uh, with the new group is unknown, though speculation is he may be leaving as well. Greg is currently president of programming for CBS Paramount Domestic Television. You can find more staff changes coming out of this merger under executive moves in today's edition already sitting in your inbox. Hey, guess what? If you had a promo or a commercial in this daily podcast, it would go right about here. Coming up under more good stuff, Digital Network Reels Channel launches today, Megan Mullally now also on TBS, EW Scripps sells its shop at home network stations, and Heroes is a hero for NBC on Monday night. And while I'm telling you about all this stuff, take a look at these beautiful shots provided to us from the Internet Movie Archive. And while I'm telling you about all this stuff, take a look at these beautiful shots provided to us from the Internet Movie Archive. Launching today is a new 24-7 digital network called Reels Channel dedicated to movies. The network's flagship show is called Dailies, a news and information program about movies and the movie business, produced by Bob Reichbloom, a former line producer on ABC's Good Morning America. Advertisers supported the channel will include seven hour of original programming daily, will be available in cable households as well as available on the digital tiers of 28 million direct TV and dish network homes. Reels Channel is owned by the Hubbard Media Group. The Mega Mullally Show from NBC Universal Domestic TV Distribution is now repurposed on TBS weekdays at 8 a.m. The show will air one day after its broadcast air. Airing at 8 a.m., Mullally is sandwiched between a two hour block of Save by the Bell and Dawson's Creek. Variety reports the deal is set to continue through January, presumably with options to continue. Fine Living TV Network unveils a new half-hour series that takes ordinary people who have a passion about a particular sport and matches them up with an expert coach. Me vs. Me will debut on October 8th at 8 o'clock, then moves into its regular time slot Thursdays and Fridays at 10 o'clock starting October 19th. The show is hosted by Chris Carmichael, Lance Armstrong's coach, during the Tour de France races, and the show will feature other professionals in a variety of sports, including skiing, golfing, sailing, and fly fishing. DIY Network is launching a limited series called Sweat Equity on October 2nd at 6.30 p.m. Each of the five episodes are hosted by Adam Berlin, who teaches homeowners various short-term renovation projects designed to increase the value of their home, with an experienced realtor on hand to assess the value at the beginning and the end of each episode. The series will air first as a marathon beginning October 2nd at uh, 6.30, and will then air in successive nights at 6.30 through October 6th. EW Scripps Company will sell its five TV stations affiliated with the Shop at Home Network to multicultural television broadcasting based in New York for $170 million. The stations involved in the transaction include WMFP in Boston, WOAC Cleveland, WRAY Raleigh Durham, WSAH in Bridgeport, and KCNS San Francisco. The deal is pending license transfers and approval by the FCC and is expected to be completed within the next nine months. Earlier this June, Scripps sold the Shop at Home Network and its Nashville studios to Jewelry Television for $17 million. uh, Multicultural television broadcasting is a new LLC created by Multicultural Radio Broadcasting, which owns radio stations, cable and satellite television operations, plus print publications reaching consumers in more than 22 languages. The video footage of Steve Irwin's death will never be shown, not on air, virally, or anywhere else. Terry Irwin, widow of the crocodile hunter, says showing the video serves no purpose. Barbara Walters has interviewed Irwin, her first interview since her husband's death, and it will be seen tonight on 2020. 
Currently playing at the Synopsis Showcase are favorite classics. What is the Synopsis Showcase? You mean you don't know? Just kidding. We just launched it. It's a brand new page on the Synopsis.com website where we show short videos, not viral videos you understand, professionally produced and client paid videos. You might want to check it out. There's a link on the home page. Moving along to broadband and digital, I have one item under that header today. MTV is launching The Stew on MTV.com Overdrive, which is a new broadband channel to house two- to three-minute short-form programs and vintage MTV footage. The Stew is the first of several future MTV broadband channels, with each focusing on a different genre, such as music, gaming, news, and more. In addition, Amped Mobile is partnering with MTV to launch The Stew to mobile consumers with exclusive new features such as Amped weekly fix. Production development and casting. ABC has ordered a comedy pilot from Warner Brothers TV and producer Shana Goldberg Meehan. The project is based in Washington, D.C. and delves into politics with an ensemble cast. And over on FX, they've ordered a drama pilot called Four Ounces from Ryan Murphy, the creator of Nip Tuck. According to Variety, Four Ounces is about a man who is a father of teenage boys, husband and sports writer, as well as being a transsexual, as he begins the long process of transforming into a woman. Murphy sees this as happening over the course of five full seasons, and casting for the lead role is in progress. Well, the rating summary for Monday night, according to Live Plus Same Day Ratings from Nielsen Media Research, went like this. NBC racked up another Monday night win with a 4.712, adult 18 to 49. NBC did best in the 8 o'clock hour with Deal or No Deal at a 3.811, with Prison Break of, on Fox number 2 at a 3.49. The season premiere of 7th Heaven on CW averaged a 1.64, ranking 6th overall this hour. Now at 9 o'clock, NBC led the pack with the debut of Heroes at a 5.914, followed by the CBS sitcoms Two and a Half Men and Old Christine, averaging a 4.511. CW's second premiere of the evening, uh, the new series called Runaway, delivered a 0.72, also in 6th place. CBS then jetted ahead at 10 o'clock with CSI Miami at a 5.615, with NBC Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip coming in second at a 4.412. And today's trivia question, Sporty James was an invaluable and humorous police informant to this detective and his many partners. To which detective did Sporty supply the info? Well, that's it for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with some new executive moves and more on ratings and loads of new classified ads, a few of the stories that didn't make it into this podcast, and of course, tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. The music and synopsis was composed and performed by Michael J. Whalen. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanek.